Our main focus in this video would be to make the like and unlike buttons work. So I'll just open up my dev tools right here and the pretty cool update for view right here. So the dev tools has been updated to version three. So it's pretty cool. So go over to my text editor and uh, right in my like.view component right here, we already said when the user clicks this button, it should call the like method. And uh, when the user also clicks the unlike button, it should call the unlike method. And we already defined the like and unlike methods in our controller. So what we're going to do in this video is actually create this like method and this unlike method in our components. So I'll just go ahead and reduce this. And uh, right here, I'll just create my methods object right here. We're just going to define our like method first. And this like method is going to make an Ajax request to our server. Okay. So in our likes controller, we have the like and unlike methods. And uh, this like and unlike methods are called by this route right here. So we have the like and then we pass in the ID. Okay, so in our like.view components, this method is just gonna make an Ajax request. So that stp.get and go to the slash like route. Okay, and uh, we're gonna attach the parameter right here. And remember the parameter right there is the ID of the post we're trying to like. Okay, so that's it. So the ID right here is the ID of the post we're trying to like. Right here, we're just receiving the response. So it's a response. And uh, right here in our callback, we'll do a number of things. So when we like the post, if you check out our view, view store, we have a post array. And in the post array, right there, we have a likes array. And uh, right there, we have an object of all the likes. And the likes automatically load the user who liked that post. So what we would like to do is actually receive the like from our backend from Lavo, and we are going to call a mutation that is going to push that like into the particular post that was just liked. Okay. So for example, if the ID that we passed here was ID of four, then it's going to like a post of four and a new like would be created for our database. Then what we'll have to do is going to that post of four and pushing the like right into this array right here. Okay, so it's gonna like this post and would add a new like object into this post right here. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So it looks like we need a mutation. So I'll just say when we receive the response, this dot star dot commit a mutation and uh, the name of this mutation is simply gonna be update post likes and uh, the payload is gonna be an object so that we can pass more data. And uh, right here is gonna be the ID of the post that we actually liked. And this is just gonna be the this dot ID. And uh, we're also going to pass in the like, and this is going to be from the response dot body, because remember we are returning the like from the database. And the one little thing before I forget right here, if we return the like that was created, it's simply going to return this without eager loading our data, which we don't want. So right here, we're just going to save this like in a variable and we are going to return the like from the database. So we create the like and then we return it from the database so that it eagerly loads the user. I hope that makes sense. If we return the like that was created, it's just going to fetch the particular like from the likes table. But now we need to eagerly load the user's table and our eager loading only works when we actually are loading it directly from the database. Okay. So this is simply going to pick up the return from this create, but this is going to find that particular like that was created from the database and it's going to return it to our view component. So right now we are calling a commit called update post likes and let's go to our store and define the commit. So right here, we need a new commit and this commit is going to be update post likes. And of course, it's going to take in the state and it's going to take in a payload, which I'll just call payload right there. Okay. Since it's an object. Okay. So what is this method going to do? First of all, in the payload that we are passing from the like.view components, we are receiving the ID. So we can use this ID to find that post in the store. Secondly, we have the like. So we find that post in the store and we'll push in the like into the likes array of that particular post. Okay. So right here, what we're going to do, we'll have a variable and we'll call it post. And this post is going to save the particular post of ID ID right here. So what we're going to do is find that post. So we have the state and we have the post and we'll just call the find method. And this find method is going to receive a function and uh, it's looping through all of the post in the store, which is in the state right here. So what we're going to do is say for every loop, we are going to save the current post in the P variable, which just stands for post. And uh, what we are going to do is return the post where the P dot ID, it's exactly payload dot ID. So the post is going to be a post that we're going to find. So we'll store it in a variable. And how are we finding this post? We have the post array right here in our state. 
and that post array contains all the posts of all the friends and all that. So we would find the particular post where the post of that ID is the payload.id, meaning the ID of the particular post that we're trying to like right here. Okay. So after we do that, the next thing we need to do with that variable right here is post dot likes because we just found a post in the store so it has a likes array all of them do right here so all of them have a likes array so into that array we're gonna push in the new like okay and remember we received that like from our database from a level from our back end and we saved it as like right here so we are passing the payload and we have the like right there so we're assessing that and we're pushing it into the likes array for that particular variable so that's our mutation Hopefully it should work. So right here, after we have committed, we might just want to create a notification. So noti to say you successfully liked the post. So I'll just go ahead to my post.view components and copy the notification right there. And the, right here, you'd be type of success. And the message is going to be you successfully like the post. So hopefully that should work. As soon as we like the components, everything should reevaluate itself so i'm just going ahead and look for a component for a post that i haven't liked so this post right here and uh before i try that out i should actually run gulp okay so that's compared let's go ahead and refresh and hopefully that should work okay so right here i haven't liked this post so i'll go ahead and like it and there uh, we have an error okay so 500 internal server error so i'll go to my network and i'll check out this right here so mass assignment exception okay so that means in our like that php we didn't permit the mass assignment so we'll go to our like that php and we have to define our protected fillable property so protected fillable equals this and we would make the user id fillable and the post id also okay so that's according to our likes table so we have the user and post id will make them fillable Okay, so let's refresh again and try out. Hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, so let's like, and bam, that's my image automatically added right there to the post. Okay, so I successfully liked the post and my avatar was automatically added right there. So, so this has been a whole line of things before my avatar actually appeared right here. And uh, I really think we should be impressed about this because this is a lot of work on the part of Vue.js. Okay, so let's go through it again. And uh, I'm really impressed. I'm so happy about this because it's impressive. So what happened? First of all, our update post likes commit was created as soon as we received a response from the database for that Ajax call. So when we received that update post likes, it automatically pushed the like right here to our post array and once it pushed that like, what happened was in our like.view, remember, we are finding a particular like in our like.view. So it means this particular post has a like of its own. So in our like.view for that particular post, we are finding it. And after finding it, we're going to find everybody that likes it. And after finding it, we'll check if the authenticated user likes it. And if the authenticated user likes it, it means we're going to display his avatar right here okay so we are using computed properties here because after we make a change for example by pushing that like into the post likes array it's gonna reevaluate every single thing we've been doing all this while and it reevaluates that and it pushes my avatar right in here so that's really impressive and uh, you can go ahead and follow the sequence of events and uh, i really hope you'll be impressed too okay so see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching